Wake up. It's Brian and Tracy. Good morning to you, Bailey Zimmerman, and where it ends. Uh. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're a morning person or a night person. Mornings apparently are more stressful than evenings. This new survey says the most stressful time of day is 8.15 in the morning. So we are well beyond that now. Yeah. So it's time to relax. Yeah. Be cool. Chill. Yeah. So here are some things that you can do the night before that will help make your mornings go smoother. Prepare the night before. Lay out those clothes and pack the school bags and prepare lunches. Do everything the night before. Establish and stick to a routine. You're more able to turn your mornings into a repeatable mental checklist. Uh, the easier it'll be to keep things moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way you won't forget stuff. Get up before the kids do. Oh, that's the only time you're going to get any peace in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get up 30 minutes before the kids do so that you have time to get yourself in a place of peace. Delegate responsibilities. Assign age-appropriate tasks to your children. Put them to work. There you Make go. your husband do stuff. That's Kick right. him hard. <laughs> Limit technology in the morning. Yes, it's better to keep your mornings free from distractions, from TVs and tablets. Everyone should focus on getting ready instead of being sidetracked. And that can happen really easy. Ah, uh -huh. this moment of relaxation. Look at the mojito. Oh, yeah. A mojito. A mojito. A mojito for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And sunshine. And this is Moment of Relaxation. Sand. is brought to you by the Wake Up Morning Show. <laughs> Justin Moore, and this is my dirt on K-Sam. I'm Carlos Zimmerman with you on the Midday Show. Hope you all are doing well and enjoying your day so far. Uh, got your weather forecast coming up here in a moment. Luke Bryan and Tyler Hubbard on the way as well. Well, we had a grand old time at the uh, Peyton Irwin Foundation's Pineapple Run and Disco Dance Party on Saturday evening. It was a fun time down at the Walker County Annex. We were down at the turnaround with our sister station, 94.1 and 104.9 The Lake, um, bringing all the disco hits and cheering everybody on as they went through the 5K or the one-mile run. It was such a wonderful time. And then we got to hang around, me and Brian did, at the disco dance party for a little while. And everyone was having a grand old time, so... On behalf of the Peyton Irwin Foundation, thanks for going out there. It was such an amazing time, and it's all for a great cause, too. Just bringing awareness to distract the driving and the dangers that that brings, folks. So I'm sure, I, I'm definitely sure that Deanna and Billy Irwin really appreciated you guys coming out, whether you ran or helped volunteer or were just out there to have a great time and support what they do. That's what it's about, folks. So kudos to you, Huntsville. It was a great time. Can't wait to do it all again next year. Chris Young on 101.7 K Sam. Good morning. Carlos hanging out with you on this uh, Tuesday morning. Your weather forecast is coming up. Jason Aldean and Morgan Wallen around the corner, too. All right. I talked about it a moment ago. The next innovation in doorbell cameras. We'll get to that in a second. Because well, over the past 10 years, we've gone from having no idea who was showing up at our doorstep to being alerted that someone is walking up, seeing who they are and what they're carrying, and even scolding them if they're rough with the delivery. So the next innovation in doorbell cameras is devices that are armed to shoot someone coming onto your property. Okay, it's not, it's not, not what you think. Hold on. There's apparently a Kickstarter on the way for a device called Paint Cam Eve, which has the capability to fire paintballs at a target with ultra high precision. An intruder, a kid who's TPing your house, or a neighbor's pet. It's a smart device with facial recognition and the paintball firing can be triggered by you as you're watching on the app or it can be automated. What could go wrong, right? Uh, get this, it doesn't just shoot paintball pellets. It can also be loaded with cartridges that can unleash tear gas. I'm not kidding. The fact that you can the fact that you can control the paintball as someone's walking up, you could just, you, you, you have their, you know, not being in pain in your hands by controlling the paintball. <laughs> I love that. Tanya Tucker, two sparrows in a hurricane on KSAM. You're listening to 90s at noon. Carla Zimmerman with you. And it's time once again for a food story. Our first food story of the day was for you late night snackers out there. Your second food story today was about National Banana Day being today. And now here is drink story for you because Pepsi is recalling more than 230 cases of Schweppes Zero Sugar Ginger Ale because it's actually chock full of sugar. 
There was some kind of mix-up. The product canned as zero sugar contained full sugar. The recall affects nearly 5,600 cans and includes products that were shipped to Maryland, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. Naturally, this is more than just an unexpected sugar high. Some people have medical conditions that make these products dangerous to drink. No injuries or illnesses have been reported, and it's unclear how they discovered the error. I mean, what did they do? Just pop up in a can at work and just see if it tasted like sugar with sugar or not? Granted, I'm not a big, f I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of ginger ale. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll drink it. Maybe not the zero sugar. I mean, that's probably what I should drink. I'm trying to cut back a little bit. Zero sugar drinks are my friends. People give me the weirdest looks too. If I'm like at a, at a, if I'm with my friends and I'm going to like a gas station or something and I go with the zero sugar or the diet ones, they're like, are you kidding me, Carlos? And I'm like, what? I'm trying to cut back. Get off my back. Your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. That is Jackson Dean with Fearless. Good afternoon. I am Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast coming up here in just a few moments. So uh, Uber, well, they have released a list of 11 common things that riders have left behind the most over the past year. So here they are. They are clothing, luggage, headphones, wallets, jewelry, phones, cameras, tables, tables, uh, books, laptops, and vapes. Okay. Uh, they also shared some of the weird things that people left behind over the past year. You want to guess? Well, how about a frontal hair toupee? Also, hot spot, hot sauce and a breathalyzer. Uh, let's see here. Two containers with the spiders and a tray of meat pie. Also, a ceramic hat, a uh, jar of oysters, a candle that says, see you in court, <laughs> and a live pet turtle. And last but not least, a burrito steamer. Cody Johnson and Dirt Cheap. On KCM, good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast is coming right up. So, uh, do you have a date this weekend? Uh, maybe it's a first date, okay? Well, here are some things they're going to immediately notice about you and more than likely judge. Okay, here we go. There's five of them. I'm going to start with number five. Your manners and how you treat your server. That's right. They'll notice how you interact with them and the wait staff during your date. Number four, your outfit. Just make sure it is appropriate for the venue. Don't want to be overdressed in a suit or <laughs> underdressed in a t-shirt, right? Exactly. How about this? Number three, your grooming and hygiene. That should be obvious to anybody. Shower, brush your teeth, do your hair, that kind of stuff. Okay, and your nails, don't forget about that. And if you're uh, a guy and you have a beard, make sure that it's trimmed, right? How about number two, your facial expressions, including making eye contact versus looking away constantly. And number one, your body language. So stuff like how you walk or how you sit in your chair is uh, important, of course. Uh, good posture makes you more attractive. Yeah. See, if you've got a new, if you've got a date anyway, uh, check those things out. Kojo, Cody Johnson with Human. You're on 101.7 KSAM. All right, folks, it's time for your favorite segment, my favorite segment, everybody's favorite segment of the weekend. Say it with me, folks. Deep breath. It's your five random facts of the weekend. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this again. I really am. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> number five. Let's start number five. Let's go to number one. Number five, St. Louis hosted the third Olympics back in 1904. They lasted five months and only 11 other countries besides America sent athletes. So the U.S., of course, dominated. They won 231 medals. Doesn't sound out of the ordinary from now, but the next closest country was Germany with just 15. <laughs> USA, am I right? Number four, in the original version of Snow White, the story ends with the evil queen being forced to put on burning hot iron shoes and dance in them until she passed away. Sure. Number three, the reason there's a top 40 song top 40 list for songs is because jukeboxes in the 50s used to only hold exactly 40 songs. Cool. That's actually honestly kind of cool. Not going to lie. Number two, Steven Spielberg bought the rights to Jurassic Park just a few hours before James Cameron tried to get those same exact rights. Cameron said if he had made the movie, it would have been, quote, nastier, much, much nastier. And number one, this past Wednesday was National Siblings Day, and Josh and Bo Naylor, both of the Cleveland Guardians, celebrated by each hitting home runs in their game on Wednesday in the same exact inning. It's actually the 10th time, oddly enough, in the sport of baseball since 1900 that two brothers have hit the hit a homer in the same inning. The others to do it include Hank and Tommy Aaron in 1962, Cal and Billy Ripken in 1990 and 96, they did it twice, and Justin and BJ Upton, who did it twice in April of 2013, 
Josh and Bo Naylor, Naylor also did it last summer. But is it the first time that anyone's done it on National Sibling Day? I would have to assume, but the fact that this has happened that many times shows how odd the sport of baseball is.